Okay, so this is the first lecture for categorical data analysis. So the first uh, topic that we will discuss is about review of some discrete probability distributions. So the first um, distribution that we will need to consider in this subject is the so-called the binomial distribution. So we all know that the binomial distribution has the form uh, n choose x, p to the x, q to the n minus x. So the notation for um, the binomial distribution with parameter n and p would be would be this. So other notations, we have x, x is the number of successes, n is the independent trials, and p is the probability of success. Now, q be 1 minus p. So, for example, a coin is tossed twice, find the probability of getting two heads. So, for this experiment, so the experiment here was uh, tossing a coin. And we know that uh, the coin was tossed twice so uh, take note that the experiment tossing of a coin is an indef independent event so here n would be 2 what about p? p is the probability of success in a given experiment so here the probability of getting heads is the probability of success so meaning the probability of getting heads in a single toss of a coin would be one half so we write here p one half and then x x is the number of successes in a given experiment so that is also given in the problem uh, here we need to find the probability of getting two heads so meaning x would be two therefore we need to find so we need to find b of 2 comma uh, semicolon 2 1 half so b 2 2 1 half equals so we have 2 choose 2 1 half raised to 2 and then 1 half raised to uh, n minus x so 2 minus 2 is 0 so that is just 1 fourth So we also take note that the expected value and the variance of the binomial distribution are these. So E of X of the binomial distribution is equal to NP and the variance of the binomial distribution is equal to NPQ.
so we also have the Poisson distribution so here's the pr probability distribution of the Poisson so we have e to the negative lambda lambda to the x all over x factorial where e is the number 2.71 to eight uh, blah 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 so the notation for the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda would be this where lambda be the average number of outcomes per uh, unit time distance area or volume and x be the number of outcomes occurring in a given time interval or specified region so for example uh, 10 is the average number of oil tankers arriving each day at a certain port the facilities are the port can can handle at most 15 tankers per day what is the probability that on a given day tankers have to be turned away so we need to find the probability that x be greater than 15 so we all know that this expression is also equal to 1 minus p of x less than or equal to 15 so to get this we need to express this in this form so the summation p of x with parameter 10 so as x goes from 0 to 15 So we have 1 minus, so the value of this would be 0 0.9513. And then if we subtract this, we will get 0 0.0487. So the expected value and variance of the Poisson distribution would be so e of x is equal to lambda and the variance of x is also lambda so we have a theorem let x be a binomial random variable with probability distribution b of x with parameter n p when n uh, approaches infinity p approaches zero and np approaches mu remains constant so the binomial distribution as n approaches infinity tends to be the Poisson distribution with parameter mu so for example in an in a certain industrial facility accidents occur frequently it is known that the probability of an accident on any given day is 0 0.005 and accidents are independent of each other so for letter a what is the probability that in any given period of 400 days there will be an accident on one day and for letter B, what is the probability that there are at most three days with an accident? So we will use the theorem. So in the given, we, are, we have N equals 400, P be 0 0.005, So, if we take the product NP, that will give us 
two. So as we can as we can observe, n gets large. So we have a large number of n and p uh, tends to zero since we have 0 0.005 so by applying the theorem for letter a we need to find p of x equals 1 so this will give us e to the negative 2 2 to the 1 all over 1 factorial which gives us 0 0.271 and then for letter B so we need to find P of X less than or equal to 3 So that is equal to the summation of e to the negative 2, 2 to the x all over x factorial as x goes from 0 to 3. So if we evaluate this, that would, that would give us 0 0.857.